One of the uh, interesting uh, aspects of this trend is the fact that a lot of the stagnation has been driven by declines in major markets like China and India, that where I think the uh, fossil fuel modelers like OPEC, for example, expected very, very significant growth in fossil fuel demand. And in fact, that's not what we're seeing at all. So especially this year, there have been two really surprising stories. So China, on the one hand, was maybe the slightly more anticipated one, because over the last two, three years, we've really seen a massive step up in the amount of clean power that's come online there. And that has now this year specifically has met all of the growth in electricity demand. Last year already met almost all of it, but it was an incredibly hot year that came after a very mild year. So we had this really big boom in demand. That was slightly different this year. Conditions are more similar to last year. So what's really shining through is structural demand growth. So from economic activity, for example. And solar power is growing so fast in China that together with wind and a decent increase in hydro generation, um, yeah, we, we can really meet all of that additional electricity demand. So that meant actually we're going to see a fall in fossil generation in China this year.